This is NRG and Reaper Decks. We take the entry list of the top three NASCAR series, run them through the N ratings algorithm, set them up by their provisional lineup, and see what the computer says will be the finishing order on race day. First up on Saturday was the Truck Series. Ryan Priest coming to the line first, followed by Matt Benedetto, John Hunter Nemechek, Chase Purdy, and Christian Eckes. A lot of accidents, a lot of drivers getting taken out and sending them a lot further back than we would expect. Drivers like Zane Smith, the Daytona winner, Ty Majeski, Tyler Ankrum. Several good drivers back here in the field after dropping out. And in the Xfinity Series, it was Trevor Bain finally grabbing that victory. Two top fives in his first two races in the JGR car. Justin Allgaier, Josh Berry, Jeremy Clements, Noah Gregson also making out that top five. And several names back here we weren't expecting either due to some accidents. Austin Hill, Riley Herbst, Daniel Hemrick. Tough days for drivers taking on the brand new Atlanta. And now it's the Cup Series turn to take it on. Qualifying got canceled in favor of practice. So just a bit of time for these cars on track, but it's Chase Briscoe that leads them to the green. Decent jump for last week's winner at Phoenix. Briscoe out in front. Logano shoots up high, gets in front of Ryan Blaney, his teammate. They're going to try to move forward. Looks like Blaney, though, is starting to fall a little bit further backward. We see Blaney is the best average finish at this racetrack at under this race. But you got to keep in mind, all these numbers are based on the old configuration. Not a lot of it's going to transfer over into this new situation. Kurt Busch leading the way in victories here. And at the moment, he's up in front, so... Maybe the location has something to do with it, but obviously it's a different track. These guys are all trying to get the hang of it. And at the moment, it looks like the Bush brothers are doing pretty well at that. Kevin Harvick has nine top fives at this racetrack. We'll see if that can translate into the new configuration. He's up there in the second position at the moment. Kyle Busch in third. Martin Truex Jr., 12 top tens here in the past. And at the moment, he's running in the fourth position. He is first driver behind that group of three that's out in front and, and now we see some pit stops happening under green Kurt Busch Kevin Harvick coming down Kyle Busch will follow just a short bit later and it looks like Justin Haley actually pitted way before them and now has taken over the lead so he has some older tires but the tire wear is not necessarily going to be an issue at this newly resurfaced track Oh, but we got a problem here. Kurt Busch makes contact with David Reagan. 15 up the track and right in front of Eric Almirola. Michael McDowell also involved down the racetrack. They come and there's a few more cars involved. And a big hit from Brad Keselowski sends the 15 over. So a multi-car crash down here in turns one and two. We saw a big one on the backstretch in the Xfinity race. And we saw a big one right there down in turn one and two. Several drivers involved, including Kurt Busch, who had led early on in this one. And now Justin Haley's caught up in this crash. Haley had taken over the lead. He had led the field to the restart, and now he's caught up in an accident as he faded back in the field. Austin Sindrick was the first one to go around. Kyle Busch, the one that kind of turned him there. Ross Chastain also involved a little bit along with other drivers. So now we hit the restart. Martin Trucks Jr. finds his way out in front. Bush involved in that latest accident. Has led some laps here before at the moment, trying to see if he can work his way through to the stage victory. But it looks like Alex Bowman is actually going to get up there and he is going to claim the stage over Kyle Bush, Kevin Harvick, Martin Trick Jr., and Kurt Bush, despite that accident that Bush was slightly involved in. Just kind of got sideswiped. He was still able to come home with the top five. And it looks like problems for Kyle Bush coming to the restart for stage two. He follows the pace car, and Bush is going to the garage. He's got a mechanical issue, and it sounds like it's terminal. So an issue there for Kyle Bush is going to take him out of this one. Chase Briscoe having a pretty solid day right now. Not inside the top 10, but just outside of it. And obviously he had a great week last week with that victory in Phoenix. And now problems here. Alex Bowman, Martin Drix Jr., and it looks like Truex from the lead got into Tyler Reddick, who was running slow on the racetrack, and Alex Bowman, an innocent victim in that. 
It appears both are going to stay on the lead lap. In fact, Martin Drex Jr. still in the front row. Kevin Harvick now has control of the restart. Uh, but problems here on the next run. It looks like Kyle Larson and Ryan Blaney are going to make contact. And they're going to hit Kevin Harvick just a little bit. Austin Dillon and Chase Elliott also involved. And more hits. Ty Dillon, Chris Buescher. A little bit of contact with Jones and Gill in there. But more big hits, taking out more big names. And this is going to send a lot of drivers out of this race. And Alex Bowman just barely hanging on. You can see the hood taken off of his race car. Just trying to grab a good finish here. He finished pretty well in the last race we had here. Fourth place for him back in July. Last time we ran the 500-mile event here, it was Blaney that went to victory lane. Denny Hamlin had a pretty solid day there. At the moment, though, he is outside of the top 10. He is having a pretty poor day. In fact, he just found his way into the top 10 as Kevin Harvick comes and gets his pit service just before the end of Stage 2. Harvick, Truex Jr., Logano, Byron, and Wallace make up the top 5 in this stage, and Hamlin will grab that last stage point. So now we head into the longest stage of the race. We'll see who's able to come out with the victory in this first race on this configuration. Problems here near the back of the field. Looks like everyone was trying to avoid the slow Cole Custer. And that's going to take out a few of the guys in the back, including Josh Balicki. Looks like the initial contact was between Todd Gilliland and Greg Biffle. And it appears as that was coming off the restart that a couple more drivers were able to grab their lap back. Bubba Wallace and Joey Logano are now involved in this race. Logano is staying right behind Harvick. Wasn't competitive early, but now finding his way back into potentially getting the race win, although he's starting to drop back. Kyle Larson involved in that accident with Ryan Blaney. He has a solid run going for him in the top 10. Obviously finished second to Ryan Blaney here last year. Last week he had a mechanical issue that took him out of the race. We're seeing some green flag pit stops. This might be the last one we need to see here today. Kevin Harvick comes in. Joey Logano stayed out just a little bit longer. Trying to see if he can work it in, but it looks like Harvick is going to take the advantage by pitting just a touch earlier. And he is able to zoom away from Joey Logano. And now Harvick has the advantage as we go into a long green flag run. White flag out here for Harvick. This track under its old configuration, the site of his first cup victory, an emotional one back in 2001, and his other two victories at this racetrack out of three coming since 2018. Didn't lead any laps at this racetrack last year. Obviously a pretty struggling year. Went winless. But he had led over 100 in six of the seven races previous to those. But right now, he looks like the dominant car. And coming around turn four, Harvick's going to be the first one to win at the new Atlanta. And that'll break a winless streak dating back to 2020. Been looking for a victory, and he has finally found it. He is victorious here today. Joey Logano will come up in second. Martin Trex Jr. third. Bubba Wall is grabbing a solid fourth place run. And Chase Briscoe, how about him? He's grabbed fifth place after coming off that victory. A very solid day for Stuart Haas Racing, even though they've had a couple of cars that did not have great days. Kyle Larson rebounding nicely from those mechanical issues last week. He comes up in six. Kurt Busch had some issues throughout the day, even though he led early. He comes back in 10th. Alex Bowman in the 12th position. You can see some obscure names up here in the top 20. Cody Ware, Josh Balicki, BJ McLeod. Just obviously not great days going for some of these guys that all wrecked out of the race. That Some of those that just kind of hung in there. We're able to come home with decent finishes. And you can see big names like Ryan Blaney, Kyle Busch, Justin Haley, Austin Sindrick, Eric Almarola, guys that you would expect to be out in front, either wrecking out or having mechanical issues that took them out of the race. That is it for NRHS and 3 Predicts. We hope you enjoyed the race, and we will see you all next time.